Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about what is happening since we're about a month away from the change of the season. Now a lot of you may be feeling some kind of push. There's, it's there for a reason. A lot of you are feeling some things through your body and they might be rather almost unnoticeable, but it's making you wonder, you're wondering what else is going on in your union and what's coming up. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about activating your life and some of the things that are going on. Now, the first thing to get started, post eclipse, we are in a new rhythm. So you're in a new rhythm now, but this new rhythm requires movement. This is going to require you to do some things in a different way. It's gonna mean lifestyle changes for some people. It's going to mean ditching old habits and behaviors for other people. And especially it's going to mean addictions need to leave and you need to finish the detox. Now, this is gonna be different for the feminine and for the masculine. Whoever is in union, your masculine is gonna go through things, your feminine is gonna go through things. For a lot of people, you are feeling physical fatigue and you're not sure where it's coming from. So just as an eye opener right now, I wanna say this to you. Pay attention to your heart. If your heart starts feeling like you're going to go into cardiac arrest, slow down and stop. Okay, I'm going to say that to you right now. You don't have to be in one of my classes for me to tell you that. But there is a reason for it. And the reason has a lot to do with alignments. Now, if you don't know what to do, if you don't know what it is, it could be a serious drop in your blood pressure. That could be something that's going on for you. You may not be where you can test your blood pressure. But make sure that you actually do stop, sit, and get still wherever you are and find your new rhythm. If you don't know how to do this, it's time to start joining, time to start getting some of the other areas of you going so that you know about your subtle bodies and that you know how to get your channels open and you can continue with your day. That's what activating your life is about. Activating your life being a divine person, being a divine parent, being a divine union, being a divine couple, being divine parents, okay? Activating the real life that you're here for. So the next thing, along with this physical fatigue, is insomnia. Eclipse insomnia, but it's more than eclipse insomnia. It's not just energies, these are you. And there's a bit of closure happening with this insomnia. There's closures. There's things that are closing out. There's gates and portals closing. And a lot of it is happening now, um, preceding what's coming up for a couple months from now. And it's important. So even if you are having bouts of insomnia, there is a reason for you in finding your new level, your new rhythm, is important. I do teach you how to do that. And yes, it involves your subtle bodies, particularly your etheric body. If you are having pains in your hips, your knees, hips, knees, or heels, especially knees and heels, if you feel like you have pain in your knees, and maybe it's been a while, if you feel like you have sticky knees, if you have a feeling like a rod's been put through your heel into the floor, Come and join and find out how do you alleviate, how do you get things going again? How do you get some of the things moving so that your life keeps activating? Because it's not just your DNA that's activating. That's the smallest part of you. You have a life. You have a life that wants you to resume and rejoin. Also, for your heart, we were talking about heart. This will have an effect on eyes, ears, nose, throat. Now, as you know, whenever you have some kind of condition up here, a lot of times you have to go to a specialist. And a lot of times a specialist won't always 
find something, but when they do, take the guidance they give you. So if you go to a medical specialist who specializes in nose, throat, tonsils, um, eyes, ears, okay, pay attention to what they're doing or telling you, especially if they're running some tests. Do not become angry with them if they don't find anything. If they don't find something, that's when you join. That's when you join one of my webinars so that you can find out about the subtle body and the effect. And not only that, don't you want your body to run efficiently? Is your body intended to go through bouts and bouts of illness? No, you're intended to be in love. And unconditional love means there's no conditions to it. Not being sick, not being allergic to things, not trading off, not compromising. You are not here for an emotional affair with your twin, and that's not what this is. You're not here for a sexual affair with your twin, and that's not what this is. You're here for everything. And even the smallest parts of you will be screaming this. There's a reason that your cells are screaming to be touched by your twin, why that desire is there. It's important. You are intended to desire each other. That desire is there for a reason, but what if things keep happening? Then what? I help you to get your channels open so that you are getting to a level that is worthy of you and that you're really from and to keep pulling things together. Now, what about people that are families? Families with children and families and children need divine parents. How are you going to be the divine parent if you yourself are still fumbling around with some of this? If you're not understanding, and there's a thing about equality, equal parts. You each have equal parts. So many times it's not going to happen with your twin coming to your rescue. I'm not saying they can't, but many times you will be feeling like you're doing this solo. And that gets very fatiguing. Okay, that's why you're feeling the fatigue. Because you have not really learned how to enlist your other in a proper way and to recharge your energy why because for lifetimes you've been draining each other sometimes one shows up fills the other tank and the other one goes off and continues with their life this is an entirely new rhythm new rhythm an elevated more elegant and may i dare say much more sensual rhythm to it. Unifying your subtle bodies is the focus for your union. So if you would like to find out how, how, come and join because that is what I teach. I teach about the subtle bodies. I started my entire series based upon your etheric body. How does your etheric body feel cosmic energies? How does your etheric body feel universal energies? How did you even feel each other to begin with? Through your subtle body parts. So it is more who you are than this physical life. That's the focus now and that's what draws you together. And you may have been trying to do things with your mind through conversations and you might not understand fully how do you heart communicate. It's not telepathy. Twin flame telepathy is not telepathy. Okay, it's not old paradigm telepathy. It's just not. It's very different. It's in a different place. That's why the fatigue. That's why the things around your head. Eyes, ears, nose, throat. That's why you're having things. Are your ears clearing? Do you have ear infections? Do you have something that feels like it might be strep throat? Do you have uh, something here? That's not just your twin wanting to communicate. That is for your communication. But it's not them struggling to get the words and the truth out. The truth is coming out. It's spilling out all over the place, all over the media, all over. It is just exploding in some places. But those are parts of you trying to get fatigue out. Those are parts of you trying to upgrade and continue. So many times you will have all of the feminine sometimes saying, Oh my goodness, I am so tired. 
I just can't get to sleep. I just don't know. I, I It's like something's going on. I don't understand it. Yeah, I know what you mean. And and then I keep hearing things, especially towards morning. It's like I hear loops and loops of, of words. And it's like I'm attending some kind of class or something. And someone's giving a lecture, but I, I can't grasp it all. Oh, yeah, that's that's really weird stuff. I, I just don't know what's going on. Oh, you think that's funny. I hear music everywhere I go. I, I just hear things. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. No, but it's really odd. How does my twin manage to control things like this? I, I don't understand it. I'm just so tired. I'm tired of it. I'm really, really tired. I could just I could just go to sleep right now. You can't go back to sleep on this. Oh, yeah, I need to sleep. I haven't slept well in a long time. And you will have the masculine people who are going through emotional crises. I just find that everything just bothers me now. People get on my nerves and I just don't know what to do. I haven't really had this ever happen, maybe since I was a kid. Maybe that time in third grade, but ever since then, I, I've been able to keep people at a distance. Oh, you? People won't leave me alone. They keep coming to me and telling me their stuff and I want to cry. It's it's just really something. Yeah, and then I keep having things having to do with love spells and magic and things like this. And wow, you're really getting it. I, I don't get what all of this is. And they're not understanding why? Because it's not a mind thing. And how do you help each other? How does the masculine help the feminine? How does the feminine help the masculine? And more importantly, if you're feminine, your masculine is tired. Your masculine is downright fatigued. And I'm not talking about your man. I am talking about the masculine that is you. Okay, along with the masculine of your twin, regardless of whether your twin is a man or a woman, if you are a man, okay, your feminine might be getting angry. Okay, and you'll find that these parts of you, for women, you could be saying something like this at times. There I was, and suddenly I felt this part of myself well up inside and I suddenly became very angry and I told someone off. That's a good thing for a while because that's your masculine coming to your rescue when you're by yourself. But are we supposed to continue doing this with confrontations and conflict? Is that gonna carry over into your union? No, this has to be a new rhythm. It has to be with the parts of you that are really upgraded just to each other, not everyone else. And it has to be with you having new levels of refreshment. How do you refresh yourself? How do you recharge your energy? How do you get that going? Come and join and find out. So I have um, the class here, which is the physical intimacy metaphysical union, which is to help you unify your subtle bodies and bring you deeper into union because that's what union is it's not just living together and having coffee and seeing each other over the breakfast table that's just one small part of it yes it's a part of it but it's not the only part so i'm having a class on thursday february 22nd at 6 p.m now if you're in australia or new zealand that would be 11 a.m. in your Eastern time. If you are uh, interested in the UK or the United States, Friday morning at 8 a.m. And that would actually be in the afternoon in Europe. So if you're somewhere in the European Union or if you are in um, Saudi Arabia or Israel, it's going to be your evening. It's the afternoon into the evening on Friday. What do you do on Friday night? Come and join, put your pajamas on. I tell people, get relaxed, get ready to commune with your twin because you're gonna feel. And that's what I want. So if it's your Friday evening, come join. Also, the following week, February 28th, Wednesday, 8 a.m. 
and that is the morning that's also in the afternoon or evening in certain time zones, particularly European Union and Turkey. It can be for Saudi Arabia, Oman, lots of countries. So as if you may have seen my last video, I had the globe on here. So I'm just going to, hey, Canada, hi. Lots of people from Canada awakening. Hey, you got Justin Trudeau. Yes, we love him. And anyways, he's a little bit more awake than some other leaders. <clears throat> so, you know, that's, yes, thank you for all the shouts, letting me know who you are on the map. I marked it on my map. I won't be showing the map for a while because that's sort of, I let it kind of collect and do it that way. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, I do coaching, I do readings, I do sessions with people. These are energetic body work sessions. There is a causal body session, which the causal body is your manifester. And the classes, the live classes, these are online. I also teach live. I also do in-person body work. And just so you know, myself, I do feel both of your energies. I will feel you and the other person you're in union with. Now that's the difference. There's you two. There's two of you because there's two of you. Why? Because you were so much fun. They had to pour you into two bodies. Okay. So there's two of you. Your twin may be struggling with things. I do sense and feel what's happening on the other side of the union. One of the big questions I always get is, is my twin thinking of me? Yes. That doesn't stop. You know why? It happens because of your etheric body. You can't stop thinking about each other. Now, is it a constant thing? It sometimes is so pervasive that that's why people have to shut down other areas of their life so that they can go to work, so that they can do things, so that they can take care of their responsibilities and their kids. Does it start to get the moral compass into the direction it's supposed to go straight up? Yes. And that is something you can expect from your twin. So that is everything that um we are going to be covering in here fatigue the areas of your body the um things about some family and children and unifying your subtle bodies if you don't know what your subtle body is think of it as your aura but it is more than that so thank you so much for watching i hope to see you there have a wonderful week bye now